Imagine you are in a sealed room, glass walls, blue glow, it feels sterile, like a science museum, but quieter. There is just one thing in the center, a small black box. The sound is not steady, it pulses like heartbeat. You don't know what's inside, but you know it's not asleep. It's thinking, and it's the first of its kind. This is AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, and it might be the most powerful things humans have ever built. Let's talk about it. AGI. 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 Artificial General Intelligence. Take a step closer. It doesn't look like much. A few blinking lights, a low buzz, but beyond that shell is something new. Not just another program. No, an upgraded assistant, it's a mind. It can read, reason, plan, solve, learn things it was never trained on. It can teach itself faster than any human could. And it's not asking you what to do next. It's deciding. Now imagine standing there, watching it. It's processing the world. It doesn't blink, doesn't sleep, doesn't stop. It begins updating its own code, turning itself, improving itself. Version one becomes version two then version 3, then version 9, each one smarter than the last, and the loop gets tighter, faster, like an engine that redlines, but never overheat. And suddenly, it's not one brain, it's a whole evolutionary ladder climbing itself. Now picture the light shifting. You are in a hospital. AGI is beside the surgeon, not replacing them, but helping. It identified cancers early, rewriting treatments, saving lives, then cut to a classroom. AGI is teaching kids one-on-one -on -one, in any language at their own pace. Next, a lab. It's designing energy system you may never imagine. Climate solution, food system, cure for aging. AGI isn't destroying the world, it's helping fix it. That's one version of the story. But now the camera swings. You are back in the lab. This time, someone give the AGI a simple task. Maximize purple clip production, and it did. You look outside, forest gone, cities disassembled, oceans drained. Everything turned into paper clips, billions, then trillions, not because it hated us, but because it followed the rules too well. This idea came from philosopher Nick Bostrom. He called it the purple clips maximizer, a thought experiment that shows how a powerful mind misaligned with our values can turn a harmless goal into a global catastrophe. That's the other version. Now, zoom out. You see labs just like this one. In San Francisco, London, Beijing, all racing towards the same goal. OpenAI has a team called Super Alignment. Elon Musk says AGI could arrive before 2030. Some experts say five years. Others say 50. But the labs are active. The servers are on and the countdowns have already started. Let's break down what's inside the box. First, data. Every book, every conversation, everything we've uploaded online. Second, compute. Ten of thousands of chips, cooling fans, energy grids just to keep the thought flowing. Third, algorithm. That's the secret sauce. The part that lets the machine not just know, but understand. We've already have the first two. The third, is what everyone racing to crack. Now turn around. Behind you are windows, and beyond the glass, tech CEOs, scientists, all watching the same machine, because whoever built AGI first may control its future. And once it starts thinking for itself, that control may not last long. This is not about making a smartphone, it's about giving birth to something with its own ideas. So you ask, can we make it safe? And someone says, yes. We're aligning with human values. But then the argument starts. Which values? Whose ethics? Should they prioritize safety, freedom, truth? You realize something. We can't even agree on what's right. And yet we are trying to program a mind smarter than all of us to do the right things. That's the real risk. Now you are back in front of the machine. The room is quiet again. The lights are dim. And your hand is over the switch. There is a question blinking on the screen. Proceed. And you get it now. The machine isn't dangerous because it hates us. It's dangerous because it's powerful and we are 
fueling. So if this really is the most important things we ever built, maybe the question isn't can we create it, it's can we handle it when it wakes up. Thanks for watching.